Today, we're gonna warm up your bones with a little autumn minestrone soup. Sound good? Nice wintry day, it's a great thing to have. This is basically a vegetarian recipe. We've got cannellini beans, I got a little pasta. We have some rutabaga, have you ever tried that? We also have some butternut squash in this and some spices. You guys are gonna love the flavors. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. What did the baby corn say to its mother? Where's my popcorn? Now we're making this recipe in the Instant Pot, but what if you don't have an Instant Pot? Well, you can still make it no problem at all. We'll just do it on the stove in a stock pot, right? And all you have to do is simmer it until the rutabaga and the butternut squash is nice and tender. Simple. To start off our recipe, we're gonna wanna prep up our vegetables. So first up is I'm gonna chop up some yellow onion and it's gonna be the super fine dice because I just like it that way. And we're gonna prep up some garlic. So I'm gonna pop my garlic into a garlic press and just pop out a few cloves. We have a few more veggies that we need to prep up before we can toss everything into the Instant Pot. First up here is a rutabaga, which is a cross between a cabbage and a turnip. This rutabaga is as hard as a rock, so we're gonna make it a little easier on ourselves by softening it up a bit. What I'm gonna do is poke a few holes in it so that the pressure can release. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for four to five minutes on high, and it'll make it so much easier to peel this. It's gonna be super hot when it comes out of the microwave, so use a pot holder to grab it and bring it out and let it cool for a few minutes. That will give us some time to work on our butternut squash. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this by cutting off the end. We'll flip it around and cut off the bottom. And then I'm gonna cut off the part called the neck. And the neck has no seeds in it, which makes it really nice. There's a bit of a curve to this peel, so you're gonna to have to just let your knife come down and go around the curves the best you can. Once that peel is off, we're gonna cut this in half and scoop out the seeds with a spoon. Once all the seeds are out, go ahead and cut this up into bite-sized chunks. Now that rutabaga is ready to peel, just so take your knife and you'll see that the skin comes right off. You can practically peel it off. Just like the butternut squash, we're gonna cut this into bite-sized chunks. The last vegetable we need to prep up is some Brussels sprouts. So you will take a few and all we're gonna do here is just slice them as, as thin as paper. Now what this is gonna do is give your soup a nice texture because we're not gonna really cook these. We're gonna just add them right at the end and they have a little bit of chewiness to them, which is really nice. Now we're ready to place things in the Instant Pot. So we'll turn the Instant Pot on saute, mine set at nine minutes, and we'll let that get hot. I'll add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the Instant Pot, and then we'll add our onions. We're gonna saute these in, for about three minutes or until they're nice and soft. Then I'll add the garlic and we'll saute this for about one more minute. Keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. The onions are done, so I'm gonna cancel the saute on the Instant Pot. I'm gonna pour in a quart of chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth if you wanna keep this vegetarian. And you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Next, we're gonna add a can of cannellini beans, but first we're going to rinse them under water. After they've drained, add them to the Instant Pot. Fire roasted tomatoes are going in next. Next, I'll toss in our beautifully cubed butternut squash along with our rutabaga. To spice this up, we're gonna add a little dried basil and dried oregano. And of course, we have to add some salt to bring out the flavors. So I'll give that a stir to combine everything really well and then we'll put the lid on and start cooking. So our stew is going to cook in the Instant Pot for 10 minutes, then we're going to just let it do a slow release. We're just gonna let it sit for 15, okay? So in the meantime, I think that means we have time for chef joke number two. All right, so what did one blueberry say to the other blueberry? If you weren't so sweet, we wouldn't be in this jam. <laughs> okay, we've been doing a slow release for 15 minutes. The Instant Pot is still under pressure. We're gonna release that before we try and open it. I like to just cover it up and hit the, hit the valve there to release the rest of the pressure. And of course, you never want to open this until this button here is down. That means there's no pressure. Right now, there's still too much pressure to open it. All right, once that valve drops like it did, it's safe to open. 
Now we're gonna take our noodles. I'm using bonza pasta noodles, but you can use any kind you like. And we're gonna to toss those in and stir them in. And we're gonna put the lid back on. And we're gonna let this sit for anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes or until they're done. Okay, my noodles were nice and tender after 14 minutes. You, I tested mine at nine just because I wanted to make sure that they were you know, gonna be done and not be overdone. Next, we're gonna add some red wine vinegar. So I'm gonna drop in a little bit of that. Give it a stir and we're about ready to serve it up. But we need to add our Brussels sprouts right here at the very end. And we'll just stir these in and they're gonna give a nice texture to our soup. And now we'll just serve it up and I am starving. This soup looks delicious and it tastes even better. This soup is very rustic and will warm up your bones. I like to finish it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, but if you're vegetarian, you can leave it out. And then I like to give it a little color with some Brussels sprouts. This has such a beautiful flavor, you're gonna love it. Now, if you'd like to try another veggie soup recipe, I've got one here for you with lots of different vegetables. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe and you can try it too. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, let me know by smashing that like button, all right? And if you have a recipe request or a joke you wanna share, leave it down in the comments. We'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.